Like many top players, Holger Runes employs the same western grip for his forehand, a grip that has become a staple in the modern game. His forehand motion closely resembles that of Roger Federer, who is widely regarded for his impeccable technique. However, there is a subtle difference that sets Holger apart from, his, from this Swiss maestro. While Holger's forehand shares the fundamental elements of the modern ATP style forehand, it appears a tad more rigid in comparison to Federer's fluid motion. This rigidity uh, does not distract from its effectiveness, rather it brings a unique flavor to his game. His consistency on both wings is remarkable, but it's evident that, the, that he may just uh, have a slight edge on his backhand side. What truly really sets Holger's forehand apart is the sheer speed and spin he imparts on the ball, reminiscent of Rafael Nadal's style. His shots have uncanny ability to kick up high after landing, creating a nightmarish challenge for his opponents trying to return them. The combination of speed and spin not only makes his forehand a formidable weapon, but also adds an element of unpredictability to his game. Now, let's look at it further. So, as he anticipates the next shot, he keeps his forehand grip firm, but there is a fascinating twist to it. His left hand loosely cradles the throat of the racket. This distinctive hold showcases his level of comfortable and the control, allowing him to make quick adjustment as the game unfolds. This grip setup not only demonstrates Holger's finesse but also his readiness to unleash a powerful and accurate forehand at a moment's notice. With his left and uh, left hand lightly guiding the racket, he is poised for action, ready to pivot and delivers that incredible shot. It's a, set, it's a statement to his skill and adaptability on the court. His split is a thing of beauty and it's a moment where he anticipates the upcoming shot. As soon as his opponent makes contact with the ball, Holger swings into action. The split step is the, is the instant when he's ready to explode into motion and his unit turn is seamless. Um, it's the precise moment when he starts moving his racket back, like a, a conductor orchestrating a symphony. The quick, um, the, this quick, efficient response is a statement to Holger's exceptional footwork and court awareness. The split second timing allows him to set up his forehand with extraordinary speed and precision, as it's as if always on step ahead, making it challenging for his opponent to catch up with the explosive forehand. As he begins his unit turn, the subtlety of his movement comes into play. His left hand, which was uh, gently gradling, cradling sorry, the throat of the racket, gracefully let go, it's a, it's a full transition that reveals his mastery of the game. What sets Holgers apart is his, is his um, ability to keep his left arm straight as he tracks the ball. This action isn't just for aesthetics. It's a fundamental aspect of his forehand's accuracy and control. By maintaining a straight left arm, he creates a stable and consistent reference point, ensuring he can perfectly gauge, gauge sorry, the ball's trajectory. The stretch arm technique aids in holding his focus and timing, allowing him to connect with the ball precisely and apply the desired spin and power. While executing this powerful shot, his right arm is a study in controlled relaxation. It maintains a slight bend, creating a balance between strength and flexibility. This optimal positioning allows him to effortlessly harness the power generating from his core and legs. What's truly remarkable is the orient orientation of his racket, with the racket almost perpendicular to the ground pointing skyward. 
he sets the stage for his forehand masterpiece. This angle is no accident, it's a deliberate part of his method. It positions the strings to engage with the ball at the ideal contact point, maximizing control and spin. Holger's ability to maintain this poised position until the last moment before contact is a statement to his precision and consistency. The unit turn is the prelude to the magic he conjures on the court. As he pivots and faces the net, his racket embarks on a journey of his own. While in the midst of the unit turn, Holger begins to pull his, net, his racket back, initially facing it towards the ground. This action initiates what's known as the racket lag face a critical element in creating that air spray forehand acceleration. It's like the calm before the storm. The racket lag is about storing is all about storing energy ready to ex to be unleashed. Holger's precise control of his face of this face allows him to maximize the whip like action of his forehand. As he reach uh, the pinnacle of his of his unit time the critical moment arrives. It's the part where his hitting arm, fully extended, become a precise instrument. With the arm at full stretch, Holger Akis is raised a subtle yet crucial move. This wrist arc is the gateway to the all-important racket lag. It's like the calm before the storm where potential energy at its peak. Then becomes then then comes the magic. Holger accelerates through his forehand, a symphony of control power. The combination of that accurist and accurist and the stored energy from the racket lag is unleashed. The, in an explosive burst of speed and precision, it's friction of a second, but it's where the brilliance the brilliance of his forehand shines. The way he inverts the top spin to his shorts is a thing of beauty and effectiveness. As he pushes through his forehand, Holger wrist plays a pivotal role. It's a delicate flick of the rig of his wrist that occurs in a in the blink of an eye. What but sorry, but it makes all the difference. This subtle maneuver is what elevates his shorts, adding that signature top spin. The top spin is what makes the ball trajectory to uh, the jury to so deceptive and hard to handle for his opponent. It keeps the ball with, within the court while making it dive down at uh, an acute angle, confounding those who are trying to return his shot. So um, the complete uncalling of his body as he, unleashes, as he launches the ball, this is where he harnesses the maximum momentum and power. To deliver that incredible shot is a memorizing is a memorizing display of athleticism and finesse. As he positions himself for the forehand, Holger's body is coiled like a, a tightly wound spring, ready to release. When the moment arrives, he lets it all out, unwinding the unwinding with precision and control. The, the uncalling of his body is a masterful way. To convert all the energy he has gathered into a formidable force, it's the core of his power, and it's the and and it's this explosion that propels the ball with incredible speed and accuracy. This technique is what separates elite players from the rest. And lastly, his forehand journey does not conclude with the impact. The follow-through is equally fascinating. Typically, he wraps up his forehand. With a control fine finish, his racket stopping around shoulder height is a demonstration of preci precision and form, showcasing his ability to keep the shot contained and and on target and on target. Sorry. However, Holger's repertoire extends beyond the conventional. So, occasionally, you might witness him finishing with a, a flair reminiscent of Rafael Nadal or Carlos Alcaraz. In this case. In this instance, sorry, he whips the racket across 
his head, adding a dramatic twist um, to his shot. This flourish serve, serves a purpose to generate that extra uh, dose of spin which can make the ball uh, dive sharply over the net and then kick up a point landing. This versatility is the, in his follow-through exemplifies Holger's adaptability and creativity on the court. It's a statement to his keen understanding of the nuisance of the game and his ability to employ different technique when situation calls for it.